Tonight, parts of Michigan Road are shut down as friends, family, and community members celebrate the life of Drejan Reed. Last month, a young man was shot and killed by police following a high-speed chase that Reed streamed live on Facebook. Now, just this week, IMPD released the name of the officers involved. As Fox 59's Mike Sullivan tells us, people are demanding more answers in this case. Come Tuesday, Drejan Reed will have been 22. So he's forever 21 in our eyes. The face of an indie movement memorialized at Michigan in 62nd. It's justice for Drejan. Seen right here. But it's justice for America. The same spot he was shot and killed by an IMPD officer. They still need to release the coroner's report. Prior to his death, Reed led officers in a high-speed chase. He streamed live on Facebook to thousands. IMPD ended the May 6th pursuit at 610 only to see the vehicle again six minutes later. Why was he still being pursued if the district terminated a police chase? People watched as he left his car, ran from police, was tased, and later shot. IEPD saying he returned fire, but some people watching live don't believe that ever happened. I'm just being honest, the community doesn't know who to trust, especially after being so peaceful in downtown Indianapolis and was still hit with tear gas and riot gear by IMPD officers. Joshua Griffin has been protesting for weeks. Now we want demands, so instead of asking, we're going to take them like today. I'm taking Michigan Road, and we're going to have a celebration of life for her. And a celebration it is. Today's message is basically love, peace, and prosperity. I was up all night doing this. A celebration of progress. IMPD releasing the name of the officer who shot Reed, a four-year service member, DeJour Mercer. Remember, I am Drejan Reed. I am his mother. I am and will continue to fight for my son, no matter what. Reed's family thanking the community for their support. Just remember to do everything in love and everything in peace. No more, no more violence, no more killing. That's our goal. Griffin asked Mayor Joe Hogsett and Governor Eric Holcomb to attend, but says they declined. But yet they want us to think that they're an ally. What type of ally are you really? Are you really here for the city or are you really here for the citizens? Just a few of the many questions protesters still have. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News.